So today Nintendo has shared some interesting details about Side Order over on their official Twitter account. So I wanted to go over everything that they've shared today, let's jump right into this. They start off by saying SLR Order Operatives checking in with a look at a sparse new setting for the Side Order DLC. It looks a lot like Inkopolis Square, plus some white coral substance and minus all the people. What and where is this place? Do they even turf war here? So this does kind of confirm that this is some sort of alternate world or virtual reality or something like that in my opinion, which is definitely very, very interesting. I guess there'll be some time before we find out for sure, but yeah, this definitely kind of hints towards that in my opinion. Next, Side Order's protagonist is Agent 8, a young Octoling last seen on a perilous journey together with Off the Hook. This world of order seems no less dangerous than the last place 8 ended up, but how did 8 get here to begin with? So yes, here is confirmation that this is Agent 8, the protagonist of Side Order. Definitely some good news to get, although I believe everyone kind of already knew that anyways. So yeah, this is our protagonist, this is what they look like. I really, really love these character designs and I cannot wait to play through with them. It's honestly going to be a lot of fun. Next, the SRL Zoning Committee doesn't recall approving a permit for the Spire of Order, the strange tower looming over side order. The elevator only takes you up one floor at a time, and the floors change every time you get there. Who reviewed these blueprints? So there's some really interesting details about the main setting of this DLC, the Spire of Order. Yes, there will be an elevator, of course, which we saw in the trailer, and it will involve us going up one floor at a time. And also, it does again imply by what they're saying here that this is definitely outside of the usual reality, I guess, of our world in Splatoon, since they kind of... It could just be some flavor text from Nintendo, but that's definitely what I'm getting from it. Next, here, wherever, here is in side order, you can see a color chip being placed into a palette device to give Agent 8 an edge in combat. Color chips can do all kinds of things to you, like boosting your damage, widening your area of effect, quickening your steps, and more. So there's going to be a lot of those, which is really exciting. I like this new little image that they shared alongside it too. This feature is definitely going to be a lot of fun, and I'm interested in seeing maybe what combinations you might be able to use as well. I definitely think there's a lot of potential here. And finally, they said, The SRL Color Guard recommends factoring in which color chip is on offer before selecting a floor layout. It's up to each player to decide the best way to develop your palette over time. The Color Guard likes green, but you do you. So I love, I love the aesthetics of these two. I just think they look so good. The green that we're seeing here in this little screenshot looks absolutely amazing. And I love that they let you choose as well, which is something we've typically seen them do with a single player. But I still think it's good that you're not kind of forced into using specific abilities. You can mix it up and play how you want to. Let me know what you think though about these new details and such. I know a lot of them were in the first trailer, but it's still interesting in my opinion. If you made it to the end, be sure to comment Splat Gang down below so I know you did. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing and turning on channel notifications for more.